everyone i'm callie welcome back into the channel today we're going to be playing another episode of mass effect 3. last episode we finally finished up everything on priority horizon and honestly it's one of the priority missions where i was really happy with the outcome I think we got some important data to help fight our Reaper War, even though it came at a really high price. I do think that the data that we got from there can be useful in the end fight against the Reapers. You guys have kind of heard my thoughts and my theories about how the Crucible will, will work. I explained last time that I think it'll be some sort of like electromagnetic shockwave that just shuts all of the reapers down at once i don't know how true this is it's just a theory but if we were able to use the data that we collected this could be even more plausible what if we went into an area just like we did with the batarian world we used the data that we collected from the elusive man and from miranda's father to get them all to come to that location and shot off the crucible and then destroyed the relay. I feel like that could be a really good plan. I don't know if it'll go down that way at all. It sounds way too simple, way too easy. I feel like that would be one of the best options to do if the Crucible works how, we, how I think it will work, but it could just be like a big ray gun that shoots all of the Reapers. And even then the plan would still be good to get them into one area and shoot them with the crucible from there but it will still be probably a very intense fight but now that we are kind of gearing up for the final missions i can't help but think and throw my theories out there so like usual i'm just kind of theorizing and trying to think about what the end game is going to look like for us but today we will set all of that aside because we are finally finishing out the citadel dlc i plan on finishing up all of the interactions on the silver sun strip and also back in our apartment and once all of those are exhausted i will kick off the party i have a feeling it's going to be hilarious and fun and very light humor today so i am looking forward to hopping in without further ado let's go oh oh without further ado let's go all right so i remember grunt having an interaction with the csec officer of some sort um so i think i'm actually gonna do that one first because i've been really excited to go see grunt again okay so silver sun strip oh we're here okay we're looking for a csec officer okay. officer someone requested my presence concerning an incident with a krogan right this way commander This can't be good. <laughs> Noodle house. Look at the little croak and neon signs. So, grunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Oh my gosh, left the hospital? Why, because he was drinking? Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Have you recovered? But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Oh. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. <laughs> okay, so he broke out of the hospital. That's what the broken glass he's talking about is he busted out of the hospital. <laughs> I'm glad that you're out. Did anyone get hurt? I think it's kind of funny how our um, our body language is like the mom. The mom stands like, what happened here? What's going on? <laughs> what did you do now? It's really funny. I think I'm just going to say I'm glad you're out. I mean, I care about everybody else. I wonder if anyone got hurt in the hospital, but I am glad to see him. I understand you getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates <laughs> broke me out for my birthday. Tried birthday. lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. 
it didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium. Oh my god. Look at him holding the beer bottle. Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. Oh my god. <laughs> the CSEC guys jumped out. <laughs> then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. No. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. <laughs> and why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. <laughs> Come on, Shepard, keep up. <laughs> right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry, bought some noodles. <laughs> oh my gosh. That story, it reminds me of something. I mean, besides like burning a car and stealing a CSAC car, something that my friends would get up to when we were younger. <laughs> Just doing like beer bottle on top of the statue, being crazy. Oh man, that made me tear up from laughing so hard. You should make amends or fabricate the story. I think I'm gonna be the the cool chef, the cool mom chef this time. I think I'm gonna fabricate it for him. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> That's right, I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You oh won't. Oh my god. Thank you, officer. <sighs> so, how were those noodles? <laughs> A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. <laughs> oh my gosh. That interaction was everything and anything that I thought it was going to be. That was perfect. Our little I love you. And then his laugh. Oh, that was perfect. I am like, I can't stop tearing up from laughing. I think his interaction tops all of them so far. Every single one of our interactions so far, it tops it. It was so good. You have received a new message. Oh, nice. Another message. I wonder when we'll be done getting messages. But I think Cortez wanted to watch like a game or something with the guys and then Trainer. I think I'll probably invite up Trainer first and then Cortez. Um, but let's see who sent us a message. There's three of them. <gasps> Mom! From Hannah Shepard. Sweetheart, it's been a long time since we spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that? I don't know. But that's where you'll find me. Could you call me, please, when you get a chance? I would love to talk, Mom. Oh, I remember... I think... I remember hearing because I never actually did the side mission for it. I missed so many side missions in Mass Effect 1. Because I was kind of just beginning to fall in love with the game. And... I wanted to get through the main chunky parts because I read in the comments that some of the side quests can be a little bit redundant and I missed so many. And I wish I would have done what I have been doing in Mass Effect 2 and 3 and trying to complete as much as I can. I really, really regret not spending more time in Mass Effect 1. And I could have saved Conrad Werner too if I would have completed everything, which really stinks, but that's okay. You live and you learn, and I'm definitely going to do another playthrough on my own time that I'm very excited about, so I will do it then. But I'm just, I'm sad because I wish I would have had that first reaction with, with the mom and the dad, or maybe just the mom. We also got one from Samara, which I'm excited about. I was wondering when we were going to hear from her. I've overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought that I'd write to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there's any way that I can be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to call. Always so business formal, Samara. 
And then Miranda Lawson again. Shepard, care for a night out? Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. So Miranda wants to hang out again, which is pretty cool. I'm excited to hang out with her again. So let's invite up Trainer. Maybe I should call mom first. Yeah, let's let's call mom first. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I I just felt I needed to. I think about you every day. Aww. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, honey. So proud. That's it. We don't get to say anything back to her. It's nice that we even got to hear from our mom and that she's proud of us. But I feel like I remember just that we looked up to our parents so much because they were also they were also a part of the alliance and pretty big in it too all right so let's invite up trainer first and then we'll do cortez and then probably samara you sure you want to leave that here is that i can't very well bring it back to the normandy i have nowhere to put it oh the trophy it's this huge. place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers. Oh. Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. You're what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. Oh no. And public speaking. <laughs> I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too. And an inhaler for asthma. Oh my goodness, she has a lot of ailments. Seriously, are you okay? Yeah, are you, are you okay? What's going on? Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Uh... Found one! <laughs> Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? Oh, it's Kaylee. She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. A what? No. A what? <laughs> Did she just say what I think she said? What? <laughs> Um, okay. Is she still in here? What a crazy encounter. Oh, okay. Shepard was very, like, hot and bothered, you could tell, because she was just like, oh my gosh, when she started to bend over and get the overnight back. <laughs> Trainer is very interesting lady. Most interesting woman. So... I kind of want to invite up Samara and then we can have like the guys night. I just want to see what Samara is up to. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? 
We so business These woman. big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Aww. Let's talk about you. Let's do something fun. Those talks on the Normandy with the observation lounge were amazing. I'm sure it was a mix of just Samara and her voice. And I feel like I could listen to Samara read me a story every night before bed. There's something about her that has always intrigued me and what she's been through and who she is as a woman. It just, it intrigues me so much. I've always just felt like I want to know more about her and be closer to her. And unfortunately, I think the romance didn't really work out with us. I tried uh, back in Mass Effect 2, but it was a fail. <laughs> I think I was a little too forward or something, but um, yeah, Samara is such a great, great character. And I do wish that she would break out of her shell more. Always so business, always so strict. So let's do something fun to take our, to, yeah, let's do something fun. What should we do to take our mind off things for a couple of hours? Let's watch people. Justicars must have keen powers of perception. Testing them can be fun. Really? Yes. For example, the Turian there. The one limping. What do you suppose his story is? He's a soldier? I have no idea. Uh, maybe because he's a soldier? I don't know. Injured in military service, probably. Except he doesn't wear it like a badge of honor. He seems ashamed. Whatever happened, I would guess he's an outcast. Oh. What about the two Volus? The ones whispering? What's in the case? They're related. Brothers, but also business partners. The one on the left is a drunk and has put the family fortune in jeopardy through risky business dealings. But now the Blue Sons have kidnapped his wife. His brother has brought the ransom. 2.3 million credits. You can see all that. No, I made it up. Oh my god. You see? Fun. Okay. The <laughs> Elcor with the umbrella. Go. Too easy. Oh my god. Out. What about me then? too difficult. Hmm. Elcor with an umbrella. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's nice. It doesn't matter. I wish there was another option to just, just say, yeah, it makes me, it makes me blush. Do I agree? Not all the time. I talk about this a lot. How we're this peacemaker war hero, but it's the people around us that carry those titles. We're just here shooting and pointing a sniper rifle at the right place at the right time. But yeah, it is nice. It's humbling, but honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. Oh, I really liked Samara. I really, really like Samara. That was nice. I don't know if it's like the questions that she asks or just the way that she talks and the way that she carries herself, but I just want to hear more every single time. I just, I want to know what she's thinking. Okay, so let's go ahead and invite up Cortez after those two very crazy moments of Trader talking about extendable wands and being in our hot tub and Samara just being an absolute doll. Um, let's have some people over and change the, change the tone a bit. 
going to be probably much different than what we've just been through. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. <laughs> Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? <laughs> it's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. A goodwill game for troop morale? See, I was wondering about this. Like, how can they still have broadcast games during such a hard time? But they probably have to keep normalcy. People enjoy watching it. And yeah, I mean, it's a goodwill game for troop morale. I can imagine. They'll play hard. They can't focus. They'll play hard. They'll play hard for sure. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassana's play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? <laughs> okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? Mm, help me out, human sorcerers. Sorry, Maestro. Um, help me out. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it going to be? Oh, boy. Those are two really good arguments. <laughs> I want to represent the Human Sorcerers because go Earth and go Humans for sure. But um, I got to say that I'm with... I'm with the Asari Maestros on this one. That I just have a thing for Asari. And if they've been doing this since before the first contact, then yeah, they're probably going to win for sure. How do you bet against a team that's been playing since before we were born? Yeah. Listen up, Esteban. Shepard's preaching the wisdom. <sighs> Come on. The game's starting. Sorry, Cortez. Merda, he was out. You're blind, ref. Oh, man. Yes, they did it. <laughs> Don't be so smug. Pay up. Oh, wait, Steve picked the winner. Why is he paying? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And you spend all your luck in the battlefield, Commander. Simple math. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Hmm. <laughs> Of course they would bet on me. Not the actual game. That was a fun interaction. All right, so I think our invite ups are exhausted now. Um, in order to see if I get any more, I think I have to go back to the strip. I also want to make sure I picked up everything at the store. Because there were some items where we could customize the apartment and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to do one more walk around the Silver Sun Strip, see if anyone else wants to come up and send us a message. Oh, they were just like these things. I guess I could buy them just to see which ones I like. If you're searching for ideas, take a look at some of the products we have on display. You never know what will inspire you. Okay. I just don't see what the point is. No, you wouldn't, you joyless turd. Whoa! I mean, straight line speed is well and good, but how does a corner? Split the corners like a songbird on a sunny morning. Uh, right. Yeah, that's a new dialogue. Is the crazy nervous boyfriend still there? Yeah, he's still standing here. Hey, how are you? Looking forward to tomorrow? Of course I remember it. Lands. I thought you could meet me down on the street. 
Okay. All right, so that's just restarting. I don't think there's anything left in the Silver Sun Coast or anything. Oh, yeah, there is. Miranda wants to meet with us. How did I forget this? Good thing I checked the map. All right, so let's go meet up with Miranda. Good luck and good evening. I completely forgot about Miranda. I feel bad now. Almost forgot our date. <laughs> oh, we just fancy. Nice. Whoa. It's a very nice dress. The under boob. Whoa. Miranda. Cute outfit, Shepard. <laughs> I don't Perfect. think we've seen underboob in this game yet. Thought we might try an evening out. It's very distracting. Finally, some downtime. This is unexpected. I'm intrigued. Yeah, finally some downtime. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do. Just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. This is unexpected. Not really. I mean, with her reasoning, I'm intrigued. Hey, you've picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Girl talk? <laughs> Easy, lighten up? Mm, I hate that. I think it's just because I spent a lot of my childhood being very down and like not happy and not under understanding why people around me could smile and laugh and be normal and i remember just like everywhere that i went even my parents would say it to me too but they're just like smile or lighten up or why do you look so sad and it's i think we should do girl talk because i don't think telling people that are so stressed out and not used to a normal life to just lighten up it's not that easy you can't just flick on a switch one day and all of a sudden you're the happiest normalest person in the world it's just, it just doesn't work like that so yeah, let's do girl talk. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can talk about regular stuff. No evil clones, no making time bombs. Yep. Just talk. Regular stuff? Okay. Like shoes or something? Yeah. <laughs> sure. We're not really girly girls, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no. We can't pretend to be anything other than troubleshooting space divas. You know, that does sound pretty cool. Yeah. It does. All right, let's quit worrying and just enjoy ourselves. At least till we run out of credits. Right. Need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, Space Steven needs more wine. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to regret this. We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Hmm. <laughs> Aw, that was a nice laugh and a smile. Just a normal, like, not forced laugh and a smile. That was good. I think that in my next playthrough, and I have toyed with the idea so much in my journal, like, I have, like, scratched out and, like, rewritten a bunch of times who I want to romance in my male shepherd playthrough. Once I'm done with this one and my off-screen time playing this and exploring... I think I'm going to go with Miranda. After the last mission and kind of re getting to know her because Mass Effect 3, we didn't really get to spend a lot of time with her. And I forgot about how much I enjoyed being around Miranda. She reminds me a lot of me sometimes in like different ways. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I think that I would really enjoy seeing that side of Miranda, seeing the softer side. We get to see it sometimes as 
um, female chef, but not in the depth that I would like to see it in. Good luck and good I you have received a new message. Okay, so more messages. Nice. I'm excited. I was kind of like getting nervous, like maybe that's the end. <laughs> but we've received another one. Just like old times. <gasps> it's from Jack. Had some fun kicking holographic with you. Good to see you haven't lost it without me around to keep you in line. I've got a bit more leave, so let me know if you're around and want to kill some time. Heck yes. I was nervous that our only interaction with Jack was going to be on the battlefield because it's very fitting, but I am excited to just hang out with Jack in the apartment. Definitely. I'm glad that she she wants to hang out with just one-on-one. -on -one. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? <laughs> I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the elements zero. Oh my god. The biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Aww. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. Is that a fry fan? <gasps> oh! What? Nothing. So the variant is you. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty true, though. It's so true. There are parallels left and right. You're aware of the parallels here, right? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about, Shepard? <laughs> Mistreated biotic, the... No, never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, who's my badass biotic? Mm, who's my badass biotic? <laughs> it's cute. Jack's arc has been amazing watching her become the person that she is meant to be. And she'll always carry those like rough around the edges vibes but they're not jagged they're just her personality now it's not like i can't get close to her and i can't touch her with a 10-foot pole she's not that type of lady anymore i'm sure if someone went up to her in a bar her immediate reaction wouldn't be to punch them in the face but instead just act like her normal self and it's just really really good to see it's so good to see her just be herself and not just constantly worrying about destroying everything in her life and wrecking her life and that's essentially what she was doing she was so lost and torn and mad that she was destroying her own life because she thought that's what made things better <clears throat> her arc has been amazing all right i think i'm gonna leave one more time just to make sure that there's nobody else to invite up and then i think that might be it if there isn't any more messages i'm kind of like keeping my fingers crossed that maybe there's someone else that we can meet up with or something but i think we're coming down to the end of the meetups yeah that's it there's no new messages <laughs> dang all right so let's go decorate real quick and i want to also get changed for the party all right, let's go do a quick tour now that we've changed a bunch of stuff. The armchairs look amazing there. I love all of the, out the art in this house. I wish this house was mine. <laughs> like in real life, the kitchen looks so much better with the light wooding. It makes it look less like claustrophobic. Um, I feel like the red would have made it look a little bit more claustrophobic. We can check out the red though. Let me go see what the red looks like. It's just too, like, closed off. The red actually looks really good. <laughs> I think it's the white countertops that make it look not as closed off. I think I'm going to keep the red. Because it kind of goes with, like, the theme of colors and open spaces. And I like the red with the white. Okay. What else did we change? The bedding? I think the bedding changed in all of the beds, right? Yeah. That looks nice. All right, so let's go upstairs and see. The wall here changed. It does look really nice in amber. It's like a gold color. And the sofas, ooh, I love this apartment even more. And the shelving in here changed too. It's also very open. 
And there's armchairs everywhere. This is really nice. And the vanity does look nice. Matching the toilet. Oh, this is so nice. Did our hot tub change? I feel like it was like white before. Now it's like a darker wood. Mm, maybe I'm just seeing things. I feel like it changed. <clears throat> All right, I think we're gonna wear the party dress. I was gonna wear like that mechanics looking suit thing, but we are the host of this party. So we might as well just give it our all. I don't know. There's something about like this dress and Shepard. When we were hanging out with Miranda, we're not really girly girls at all. Like this is not something that I would picture Shepard in. But if she is the host of the house and, you know, she's trying to look nice. I wish there were like better, more, maybe like a good like pantsuit or something with a nice blazer. I feel like that would fit Shepard way more than like a girly girly dress, but that's just me being nitpicky about outfits. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and invite all now. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I would love to have the quiet, like calm night, but I think it would be more fun to do energetic. And the theme of this entire DLC has been like funny and really intense reactions. So I think I'm gonna go with energetic. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Yeah. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make think, yourselves at home. I feel overdressed. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. I feel way overdressed. Everyone's still wearing like their N7 armor stuff. I don't know. I feel overdressed. It's like when you go to a party and you're like, oh, I'm not wearing what everyone else is wearing. <laughs> Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, but I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me party. Vega. Okay. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. <laughs> I ran with a simple. Golly. I ran with a <laughs> party Vega. It's very interesting. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. Oh I'll drink God. to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? <laughs> Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Yeah. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. Yeah, that we have, Steve. Here's to us and a chance to rest. Mm. I wish I could have a drink with them. You know what? All right, I'm back and I brought my own beverage. <laughs> So that I can join in on the party because Lake Cortez says we deserve this after the emotional abuse. Oh, I poured too much. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. After the emotional abuse from Bioware, I feel like we deserve this moment. So cheers to you guys out there with my very foamy beverage. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very fun. That's so mean. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Oh, my gosh. Don't get in my waterfall. My waterfall. 
All right, I think that was everything over here. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. <laughs> So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. <laughs> Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. Kasumi. Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up the server and ask them to please build us the SR3. <laughs> but wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. <laughs> We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. <gasps> Liara, oh my heart. I will into that. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this, as friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Ooh. Is that an option? Hi, I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. It's gone already. I'm not surprised. Okay, I'm kind of sad that Dr. Chakwas can't be here. Look at Glyph, his little bow tie. Oh, that's amazing. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? I don't think I'm done talking to people, so not right now. I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. Yeah, I don't want to change anything right you know now. Why Cerberus is going to lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. No. Well, that reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus Please, popular. Big out. propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. Joker is great. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. True. We knew some cells were bad. But the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Get off more than he can chew with that one. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. 
How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hmm. Okay, that did it. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Yeah. Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. <laughs> Aww. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. <laughs> All right. That was an interesting conversation about Cerberus with three other Cerberus people in the mix and joker is just sitting there spewing out how much server sucks it's glad that i'm glad that we can all agree now though it's definitely been a wild ride with cerberus all right look at all the glasses everywhere the bottles <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of like clear this downstairs area make sure no one's throwing up in the closet or something I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, a button needs pushing. But <laughs> Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days, running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally, Sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope she took a shower because my filter needs replacing and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking her alcohol through a straw. <laughs> I'd call that progress. <laughs> Something to look forward to then. Oh my gosh. This is bringing back so many memories. All right, let's go back in this office area. Make sure no one's sneaking off back here. <gasps> Look, it's our Volus plushie and the <clears throat> the award that trainer won. I was wondering where that was going to be. So let's go up and talk to, I see Grunt up there and I think maybe Rex and Javik. <laughs> and Kazim. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. <laughs> that sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank break? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. Hmm. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. Yeah, it I think Rex would question. win. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. <laughs> ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys damn talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Ha ha ha. Now the party's starting. God. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Oh my gosh. How did I know they were going to start headbutting each other? Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Yeah, the first time that we really met Rex. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. <laughs> Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. <laughs> what kind of music is this? That's uh, not that club crap, is it? It's not that club crap. Why didn't that sound like Rex? His like voice went off a bit there. It didn't really have that like raspy tone that it has to it. He sounded like an old man, like complaining. Rex, are you getting soft in your old age? In my circle, 
too many people in one room risks the high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. Oh my god. I don't think you have to worry about that here, Javik. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Oh, Javik. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. It? Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. It is kind of like strange that Kasumi just keeps popping in and out in random areas and like contributing to the conversation and then unshielding again and then shielding again. She should feel comfortable here. I mean, I know that it's silly and it's definitely something that Kasumi would do, but she can trust everyone here. No one's going to turn her in. No one's going to see inside and find her. But I get keeping a low profile. I love the sushi and wine bottles everywhere. This is my kind of party. This is making me want sushi so bad again. Liara's comment wow. was so sweet. This is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later without you. <laughs> and this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. That reminded me of that one meme where it's like, Two bros chilling in a hot tub 10 feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Vine was the best. I feel like a lot of my humor came from Vine. But you have no plans after eating? Someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Miranda, that was such a weird question. What do you mean after Edie? You're talking about breaking up with Edie right in front of her. That is awful. <laughs> like, don't you want to be with a human? Miranda, that is too forward. A hundred Volger. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray <laughs> out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, let me just check one more time and then I will talk to Glyph. But I think we've pretty much heard everything now. Okay, I admit. Oh. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. Oh I'm glad gosh. I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the shadow broker was a shadow boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. <laughs> and that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Yeah, definitely not, Liara. Definitely not. No personal interest there. Shepard. Okay, maybe that means the conversation is over. So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. What is that voice? <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Oh, she was... Oh, okay, I was like, why is ED sound like that? <laughs> Shepard? All right, maybe that's it up here. I think it's that's it downstairs too. What the people over here keep talking. So do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. <laughs> phoned that one in. <laughs> The noises that are coming out of all of the different groups are hilarious. You can hear Tally like randomly slurring something. Grunt and Rex up there laughing their amazing laughs. All right. Oh, okay. I think I'm I think it's time now to kind of like progress the party. I think I've exhausted everything already. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? So we can mellow out or get louder. And I think that I'm going to get louder. I want to see, <laughs> I want to see everyone act, 
act crazy and happy and have fun. That's what this party is about. I don't want to have a boring party. I think in another time, I will check out the more mellow scene and probably cry a lot because it'll probably be much more intimate and sentimental. But I'm ready to have fun today with these with these amazing people. The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I love the bow tie. No, you can't. Go away. <laughs> what is Gruntar Doorman? Are there any other interactions with him? Invite up or turn away. I think he's just like a doorman of some sort. I want to see if there's anything else he'll say. You can't come in either. <laughs> Stop asking. <laughs> nope. Keep moving. All right. So let's do... Let's do invite up. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. <laughs> I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> A laugh? No. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Whoa. Grunt, keep up the good work. Will do. Mm -hmm. I told you already. No. <laughs> he's doing a good job then. <laughs> if that's what's happening out there, he's doing a good job. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Mm. I've had lots to drink. And look at me, still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. No, don't throw up on my floor, Grunt. Oh, could you imagine a Krogan throwing up, like vomiting? It probably looks and sounds so horrible. I could stop bullets with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so wasted. You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no really, okay? Okay. I love you. Okay. He's so drunk. We'll have to keep checking in on him as we make our rounds. Who's upstairs? Liara? Yes, I like my... And no, you can't come in. <laughs> Let's go over here. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarif. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. Ugh. I'll see your Tarif and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Ew. The interview'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. <gasps> That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. <laughs> well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. My arms locker. <laughs> Javik over there throwing some shade. Hey guys talking shop no worries this is fun for us so you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair the weapons locker is on the bridge practically right there a weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all when's the last time you trained with a handgun <laughs> sometime before i got the ass kicking robot as my co-pilot mm -hmm. that's no good and what if you have to save Edie someday true unacceptable you should always trade pilots are warriors too you know what this is? It's a man emergency. Stop. Take this kid out. No. <laughs> and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Oh. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Oh my gosh. A man emergency? Rex is hilarious. Support Cortez, support Joker. I don't know. I feel like if he even shot a pistol, he would break his wrist off before he could do a second shot. And then it would just be game over. Joker does a lot. He does not need to prove his worth by being trained in pistol usage either. I'm going to support Joker. I will always support Joker. Joker's body count is plenty high. True. You don't need to take him anywhere. 
This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? <laughs> and maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. To brains and to guns. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Hmm. All right. Is that everyone I can talk to in here for now? All right. I think I'm just going to kind of like check out the bottom floor again, and then we'll go from there. No. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so who's over here? Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. Oh my God, Kasumi, I need to avoid dairy. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Zaid. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> it makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Asani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Oh my gosh. What a crazy interaction. I feel like Samara would be better in tune with like art and stuff, but I guess not. Um, Zaid actually gave a very good description of how he feels about this art and how it makes him feel. That was wildly surprising from him. I also wonder if Kasumi maybe went to the bathroom after Here's she has said- thing. Beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. <laughs> right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? Oh my god. You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> oh Come my on. god, Zayuda. No. Well, that's clear enough. <laughs> At least he took rejection well. We just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years. He's trying so hard. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that. Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. Aww. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. He's so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I keep accidentally kicking off the conversation, so I'm gonna leave. I feel like Kasumi might have went occupied in the bathroom because of the dairy. That's actually really funny. Oh, and Miranda. So you're leading the Grissom Academy students. Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Jack. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. You think? I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. 
You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. <gasps> Test tube clone princess. Oh no! I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Oh, they're being so hostile with one another. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Oh, Miranda. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. <laughs> You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Oh, no. Support conflict, support friendship. They should be friends. I think they have more in common together than they realize. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Wait. Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, Wait. confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kazumi, get out of Kasumi, here! I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. Oh. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. What the heck? Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. They really sounded like they were getting after each other's throats there for a second. <laughs> okay, well. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. Hmm. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that extremely admirable. Here we go. Well, thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can live with that. Oh my gosh. That, that whole conversation. Oh man, I don't have any comment. No comments. I already told you how distracted I was by the under boob and the red dress. Absolutely, biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. James. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not James. sure if I can tell just by looking. Come on in closer. Don't be shy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Oh, oh my gosh. Liara looks so hey, distressed. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Oh. Really? You going there, James? Come on, Lola. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? <laughs> A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. I think so. Come on, Ashley. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. <laughs> just hush and you can sit up. Kasumi. Oh. Just looking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, goddess. <laughs> support biotics, support physical. I'm going to support biotics, not only because I do agree with that, um, but also because Liara is very much in distress and we got to stick up for her. James, this is a no brainer. Biotics win hands down. <laughs> We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, 
You win some, you lose some. Mm. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. Oh. More drinks, snacks, help yourselves. That hurts my stomach. No, don't do it. <laughs> I think I just can't like picture Ashley with James and like I I really like James a lot and I feel like he could do different um I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say originally but I feel like he could do different I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party or should I say we are not right Williams oh god they're totally well, hooking up leave me out of this hombre after this party More drinks, yes Jacob Jacob looks like he's the sober it soberest one out of everyone yeah, they're, I think Ashley and James are totally going to hook up after this party with that conversation. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a sure. question? You can ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Mm. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. <laughs> she Would definitely you like me does. To back my recordings of your statements. <gasps> Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. <laughs> Can't keep anything secret around Edie. She has records. What's wrong, you two? I am asking specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbs, dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. My... Oh, wait, this is dextro cheese, right? <laughs> Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair, spare, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Come on, Edie. trainer. <laughs> I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. Trainer. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Oh my god. Don't find me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Oh, Tally. Tally's like allergic to the cheese over here, talking about cheese, trying to distract them. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Yeah, Awkward. I would Awkward. probably do the same or just be like, I got to go to the bathroom or something. I mean, she's a Korean, so I think they go in their suit. Did we ever learn about where Koreans go to the bathroom? I remember the question being thrown around. I forget what the answer was though. Trainer's so embarrassed by her self. Oh man, what a crazy conversation. How many <gasps> bedrooms does this place have? Sasumi, close your legs! When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People. People. You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh, yeah. All the time. 
Le sweet Liara versus Jacob. <laughs> Hello, Commander. All right, is that all of the conversation in there? Hello again. All right, I think we might have gotten all of it up here. Hey, you know, 20 years from now, this could be worth fortune. What, the art in here? I'm gonna feel this in the morning. <laughs> okay, no one's still in here. Is Kasumi still in the bathroom? Shepard. They're done. We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. <laughs> Shepard, there you are. All right, so maybe that's all of that too. Hey, Shepard. Yeah, I think that's all of that too. All right, so let's go bump back and forth between Grunt and over here. Oh, don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range. Oh, uh, see? It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know. <laughs> oh, next, you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. Yeah. But everybody's weaker than me. Rags. What am I supposed to do for lunch? No. Three words. <laughs> Thresher, mom, jerky. Rags, no. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry, Shepard. They won't get in. All right. Let's go back here, too. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Mm, yeah. Fake lip hair doesn't fool me, Solaria. <laughs> no. <laughs> fake lip hair. What do you put a fake mustache on or something? How's it going? All right, let's go talk to Grunt again. Shepard doesn't have a half brother named Sheppy the Bolus. No entry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What happens if I open the door? Uh, well, no, I shouldn't let you in. Damn. <laughs> Does it make me leave? You should really upgrade the security. Oh, Kasumi's out here. Okay. Definitely no mines allowed. There's no box. There never was. Grunt. So literal. You've just lost the fight for your right to party. Stop. No. Okay, so I think we're finally done with Grunt. His were hilarious, and there were so many of them, too. Um, but I think we're pretty much wrapped up with everybody. I don't think there's anyone else that we need to talk to anymore, so let's go ahead and talk to Glyph. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Um, Dance or check on guests? What should I do now? I kind of wanted him to like walk around and talk to everyone. It reminds me of when he was totally unhinged in the beginning of the DLC running around the archive. And I would love to see that again. So let's see what he looks like talking to everyone. Maybe you should check on your boss. I think she's involved in a competition upstairs. Yeah, true. I will locate Dr. Tassoni right away. His little bow tie spun. Did it do that last time? All right, so it looks like we have more to hang out with. There's Joker and Edie over there. <laughs> looks like maybe Grunt, Javik, and Zaid over there. Oh, gosh, what a hot crowd. Um, Liara's still upstairs. She hasn't moved. I meant her. She's still talking to James. And Ashley's right there talk looking at James. Oh, my God, look at Jack on the table. And Karis is dancing. Trainer is getting down. Whoa, look at Tally. Tally's actually a good dancer. Absolutely. And Samara. All right. I think I'm going to go bop in with them first. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. 
Would you dance with me? Aww. It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. <gasps> okay, that's cheating. <laughs> and he has danced with Edie before in Purgatory. I remember talking him into that dance and going up there and he's like, well, I'm probably gonna break a pelvis, but, and I thought it meant something else. <laughs> so I do remember them dancing together. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Mm. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged baron. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. <laughs> I'm glad he's finally given up pursuing Samara. <laughs> Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Hmm. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. <laughs> leg wrestle. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a piss. Rex. Leg wrestle. Can you actually do that? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just sit and get it over with? All right. Let's go. I want to go with the dancing people like kind of last. So let's go upstairs. Could not. I assure you, Dr. Tassoni is quite capable. You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually <laughs> do it? Any of you. <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously. Why is James being so aggressive? He's used to like drinking and why is he being so crazy right now? And on Liara, he loves Asari. <gasps> oh God. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Mm. Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. <laughs> exactly. Nice, right? Can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? <laughs> Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Oh my god. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. Okay, good. She's back to her normal self. James, leave Liara alone. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Okay, why does Liara move like that? She is way more good with her body. I have seen her move her body way differently than that. She looks awkward. Liara, your days in the Shadow Broker office are wearing on you. <laughs> Not trying to be mean, but like, look at Miranda. That's how I remember Liara moving. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. 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 Why does she keep saying hmm? Hmm. I think it's hmm. broken. Glyph's over here, hanging out with Liara. I thought he was gonna be like running around and talking yes, to everybody. Oh, wait, look. Oh, I'm licking. Oh, God. No! <laughs> Look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass. Oh. With an emphasis on the ass. <laughs> Thanks, that's sweet. <gasps> I think you're kind of sweet. Your lips are amazing. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I hate everything about this. I hate everything. Hey, about you this. too. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard. We're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just? Yeah, giggle? that was weird. <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I. <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Oh gosh. Hook up support or hook up cool off. Oh, I really hate this. Like, I don't know. I think it's just because I don't 
think that uh <laughs> I don't know I don't know I really don't really want them to get together I just don't I I really like James and I just feel like he could do better but I mean if he wants to do his thing then who am I to tell him he can't looks like you guys are having fun oh my Sorry, stomach I hurts I should probably go check on Glyph or something. Ugh. See you later, <laughs> Shepard. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. What's that noise? Grunt! Grunt? You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Poor Grunt. Excellent. Back to sleep. Yeah, right. just take a nice sleep in the hot shower. in the fish dog food shack <laughs> it's a best lines and they know it too because grunt has so many more lines than anybody else in this tlc it's so good i said hanar can't wear sweaters oh that is a creepy question All right, I think we finally finished up with Grunt. So many good one-liners. I don't want to go over there. I'm done with all of that. It's making my stomach like legitimately hurt. <laughs> all right, no one's in the bathroom. Oh. Wow! Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it kissing me. Why is she going hey, through her underwear? I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. I don't remember Kasumi ever being this this interesting. I don't really remember that. I remember her being cool and like having a deep background in, in like thiev thievery and stealing a bunch of really cool stuff. I don't remember this side of her. I am kind of taken back that she's such a little, a little creeper. Oh, yeah. I kind of 
Like she's going through her underwear right now. It's so strange. And her remarks through this entire thing have been very interesting. I don't remember her being this way. I just want to make sure no one's out here since Kasumi obviously can go out here. So he won't dance with you, huh? Oh, I miss Hello, this. Shepherd. He will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are <laughs> dancing, Jack. Yes, they are. <sighs> and I am sitting here enjoying Joker. my drink. Support sitting, support dancing. No, this is a party. And after that little hyena laugh that you gave me, I'm going to support Edie. Joker. Joker. No. Come on. No. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh, fine. <laughs> what a crazy, crazy Dancing laugh. Is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps mm. you've just never found the right partner. I think it's probably because of his dis his disease, right? It has to be very uncomfortable for him to make Are those. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles shepherds. <laughs> oh, low blow. <laughs> It's much deserved. Thank you, Edie. This was nice, you know. Civilized. Don't get much of that. If we are not completely annihilated by Reapers and the galaxy is not decimated for thousands of years, then we should do this again. What? You're crazy. I'm with you on that, Javik. I'm with you on that. All right, let's go. Woo! <laughs> what these people are up to. More often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. Oh. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. <laughs> the way our legs bend. <laughs> yes. You and the Asnari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Dog legs. Oh my gosh. All right. Do we dance with them? Yeah. Our old shepherd moves. <laughs> oh, this is such a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> Captain on deck. <laughs> Has she always been like this? Shepherd is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. <laughs> They'll either run away, <laughs> melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. That was amazing. Gosh, there was something about being in the middle of them it just got me there i don't know what it was <laughs> that was a really really awesome moment i need to do a lap <laughs> i can't lose it already it feels so good to let loose doesn't it gotta work it out somehow it does i'm usually pretty crap at this this and baking <laughs> i can't figure it out i'm with you on that i know what you mean yeah <laughs> I don't know what it is about baking. I feel like if you're uh, like, if you cook at all, you either are a good cook or you're a good baker. There is no being good baker and a good cook. I think that I'm a good cook, not to toot my own horn. I like cooking a lot. I'm pretty good at cooking, but when it comes to baking, I am awful. I've exploded so many banana muffins and like banana loaves and 
cupcakes even I've ruined and cakes in general. I'm just awful at baking. It's, you're either good at one or the other. At least in my opinion. Tu con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. What was that? Oh God. Say that again. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. Oh. I hate everything about that. We're <laughs> 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 crying. Oh, I didn't think. I didn't. I knew he was going to be the last one standing. Or the first one to go. I said that wrong. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. <laughs> Very reactive. Very magnetic. Dorian parties almost never end with someone residing in the elements. <laughs> 68. Erbium. Atomic weight. 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> what? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Wow. Nerd! Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has the aura always been so blue? <laughs> Gary. All right, let me go bop in with everybody else. I got super spread out this time. Shepard. All right, I think they're pretty much done talking over here. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, pancreas. <laughs> Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. <laughs> I love you too, Edie. Oh, that's the first time I've heard him say that to her. Oh, that's the group photo. Okay, so I guess after we're done with everything, we'll take a group picture together. I'm not ready for it to end. Jack is like just up there. Okay, she's just gonna keep looking at my underwear. Got it. <laughs> All right, let me go barf again up here. I mean, look at Ashley and James. Say it again. Tu con tantas curvas. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Can I talk to Cliff? Would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state-of-the-art cameras. Aw, so Glyph's Please gonna take... gather everyone by the living room couch if you are ready. To take the picture. Okay. This has been... such an amazing time. Commander! No, oh, Javik's feeling it. I've enjoyed every part Hello, of this. Commander. I don't want it to end. What's up, Commander? All right, so they're all done. Kasumi's over there. Everyone upstairs I've talked to. Don't really care to go see Ashley and James again. I just, I'm gonna leave it at that. Even if there is more, I just can't. I just can't. Um, did we check the back office area? I don't think there is anyone over here, but just in case. Yeah, no one here. Okay. So I think that's everyone. I think we are officially done with the party. So let's take our group picture together. Hello, hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way, make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Oh, goosebumps. 
And Liara and I are looking at each other. Oh my god, my body won't stop goosebumping. You know that feeling that you get when like you hear a good song or you have a really reactional moment and it just like the wave comes over? I had that happen like three times back to back. Oh, oh. Well, look who's here. Is it morning already? Yeah, then it's a perfect one. Aww. Are we sleeping on the pillow? <laughs> Let's see if anyone else is up. Oh, everyone's here. They stayed the night too. <laughs> This should be fun. Investigate the aftermath. We also got a war asset team spirit. An alliance frigate Normandy SR2. <sighs> Look at the beer bottles all over. <laughs> What's this? Data pad? Shepard, hope you're well. New mission on Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. It's from Morden? How did this get here? In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate. Then telophase <laughs> arrives. And when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. <laughs> Carry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today. Very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children. Science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric. Indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. <laughs> Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pajak away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of oh course. Oh my god. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses. Making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock <laughs> clearly effective. Harry the pie jack also clearly made of flammable <laughs> material. Any questions? <laughs> Oh my god, that got me so bad. Glycine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases, you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein, we are formed. Now the aromatics! <laughs> Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids, as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine? From protein, we are formed. I'm trying to keep it together so that I don't keep crying, but I just don't think it's going to stop. So I'm just going to keep pressing the button. I was like taking a moment, but I'm just going to power through. I'm going to power through this. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit, then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door, likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. <laughs> Asari said Grogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. <laughs> A sorry, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. <laughs> Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another black widow.
shadows standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learn tricks dirty enough to clog a quarian suit filter. <laughs> Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. <gasps> Wait, did Morden hook up with Arya? Is that what they're insinuating? Holy moly. What? That's crazy. Go Morden. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to better songs. Oh, that was so cruel. Why would they have him sing to this? Oh, that was so cruel. In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. <laughs> In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. <laughs> In anaphase, they separate, then telophase arrives, and when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. I've been trying to get myself together for a little bit now, and I can't. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna have a really red nose for the rest of this recording, and I apologize, but I have a feeling I'm probably gonna cry again if that did me in like that. <laughs> It was such a beautiful way to send off Porter. <laughs> All right. I promise I'm going to get it together. I'm just so glad that they that they honored him in this DLC too. And it was such a beautiful way to do it with him singing and being nerdy and being his normal his normal self and learning that he hooked up with Arya. I think that's what they were insin insinuating. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. And then the end with like the amazing grace tune it just got me it got me all right well now that i've ruined my makeup and i look like a crazy person <laughs> um let's proceed that was so like to put it right next to the bed as we wake up the morning after i think i'm okay now all right so i see garris sitting out there let's make sure trainer's not it. like <gasps> oh my god javik you scared me uh. Time to rule the galaxy now. <laughs> Kneel before Jab. <laughs> I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. Javik. I was one. The Ara. And those eyes and that voice she was blue no no it was just a dream he's still drunk isn't he oh, i smell primitives <laughs> oh, it was no dream i smell primitives javik clean yourself up friend you are still feeling it get in that hot tub might make you feel better all right, let's go see what Garrus is up to. Oh, he's out here with Liara. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. Garrus. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, by the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Yeah. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. She probably looks beautiful, even without her hair done. I get what you're saying, Garrus. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. Oh, the tea sounds good. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. All right. Anyone? Oh, Samara's meditating. <laughs> Shepard, 
Good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Yeah, it was a good time. There's so many, like, more peaceful spots to meditate. I mean, I guess this one's fine, but, like, there's that waterfall downstairs. Grunt's not in here anymore. There's Tally. I am <laughs> going to die. It's so dramatic. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Oh, no. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. It was probably James's tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Seeing the aftermath... Uh, I remember those days. Oh, those were the... The morning after is the worst. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. <laughs> Poor Tally. Ugh. She is feeling it. Okay. Ooh. Jack's doing... What? I expected, like, Jacob to be in here. I mean, uh, James to be in here. Shepard. I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? You guys are nuts. I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? Did he even drink last night? I feel like he didn't. 1085. 1086. Holy crap. 1087. You guys are nuts. Shepard. Hey, you look like shit. <laughs> you know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Oh, that makes more sense. But what about Jacob? I guess he just didn't drink. Shepard. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That must be nice. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. <laughs> hey. All right. I'm just working out in here. Someone's on the couch over there. There's Grunt and... Oh, they're having breakfast. I think I broke my head on something <laughs> last night. <laughs> Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Oh, that's sweet, Grunt. Shepherd. Shepherd. No one's over here. All right. Morning, Shepherd. I had a lovely time last night. Shepherd. Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Mm -hmm. Isn't it awkward now that they've like hooked up? <laughs> I see everyone survived the festivities. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, <laughs> man, <laughs> you gotta try my eggs. Wait, can she Anyone eat else? eggs? Miranda? I don't think she can eat eggs. Mmm, good tea. Hmm. I wonder if I can bring some tea up to Liara. That would be nice. Oh, not, not so loud. Hey. Hey. Shepard? Eggs? Shepard? <laughs> I thought he was going to make his huevos ranchos. I was looking forward to that. Maybe that's all we had in the fridge. Trainer's in here. So, last night, I didn't do anything did i what no <laughs> i'm checking extranet sites no hits yet so maybe i just imagined that last part oh no i'm almost sure someone was recording us though oh i should probably talk to edie yeah <laughs> or alternatively i should never talk to edie ever again it's not my fault. I was overserved. The most classic in the book. I was overserved. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the raspy voice. Where is Joker and Edie? Because I think we've looked everywhere upstairs and I saw 
Cortez. Oh, Edie's over by the window. Here's Rex. Oh, Joker. <laughs> oh, the picture. Oh, this is such a good picture. <laughs> Grunt looks crazy in the background. <laughs> and James is just like saluting. No one's really looking at the camera. They're all like doing something different. I think it's really sweet that Liara and I are looking at each other and Joker and Edie are looking at each other. That's really cute. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Mm. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. <laughs> 700, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel you. Joker feels you too. Hey, Commander. <laughs> Hell of a night. <laughs> Are you doing okay? So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. <laughs> uh, still fun, though. Commander. Oh. Commander. He sounds like he is hurting. Um, was Kasumi up there? Oh, I guess I didn't notice that she was there. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. Mm hmm. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. Uh-oh. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. I feel you on that. Dairy's actually, like, really bad for you. I've been trying to cut back on dairy, but it's hard. I love cheese. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. <laughs> oh, poor Kazumi. Hey. Oh, that's Jinx. All right. Who haven't I talked to yet? Zaid. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Ooh, yeah, I bet. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. <laughs> oh my god. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Mm, three strips of bacon. I I will take that. That is good payback. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. Mm. Oh yeah, where is James? Oh, he's cooking. He's cooking. What a night. Wish it never ended. Me too. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Um, what? That was a joke. Oh my god. <laughs> Edie, I'm too gullible. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Okay. All right, I think that was pretty much everybody, I think. I'm going to do one more sweep just to be sure, but I think I'm pretty much done now. So I think I just leave. I guess I just leave when I'm done. Talk to everyone in here. Did we go into the study? Yeah, trainer was in the study. They're making breakfast. Can I check my messages? No. Javik's upstairs. Liara is on the couch. Let's see if we can, like, bring her up tea. Because we found the tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. Yeah, that was it. The apartment seems so quiet now. All right. And then Tally's in here. Oh. <laughs> Just struggling. All right, I think that's pretty much everything. What does it say to do in our journal for this now? Nothing. It's over. It's over now. Okay. Oh, what an amazing DLC. I just want to walk out into the hallway just to be sure. That no one is out here hanging out. But I think we can probably leave now. Yeah, the door is open. Return to Normandy. Okay, so there might be one last thing.
Okay, Normandy. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? <laughs> yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. <laughs> pass out the aspirin. <laughs> and the water. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right, but whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. <laughs> He's like limping back onto the Normandy. <laughs> Gosh, what an amazing DLC. It was so good. Every part of it was so good. The humor, the emotions the remembrance of Thane and Morden was beautiful I'm really glad that they added the stuff in about Morden and Thane I feel like their deaths were definitely worth all of that I wasn't expecting the one from Morden I think that's what hit me the hardest about it is just I wasn't expecting it and it didn't disappoint. <laughs> it definitely didn't disappoint. Man, my nose is so red. Whenever I cry, my nose just like does not stop being red. But that's it for today, guys. I definitely, as you all know, I've said it a million times. I sound like a broken record at this point, but the DLC was definitely a love letter from Bioware in every way. There were moments that drew me back to Mass Effect 1, back to Mass Effect 2, back into Mass Effect 3. It was amazing. All of it was really, really, really good. I would like to go back in and see the quiet party and just see how it compares. So I will probably do that on my second off-screen playthrough with my male shepherd that I've been writing down notes feverishly for. But I was expecting today to get a little bit emotional. I mean, the part where we were dancing got me a little bit. But Morden's message, I, I guess just because he is one of my favorite characters, I... I lost it. I completely lost it. It's all in a good way. It's all just really good memories that I have had in Mass Effect. The DLC tied all of it together so well. In every way, there was quirky, funny moments and jabbering back and forth about the things that the fan base jabbers back and forth about. It was just really, really cool to see. It was definitely an amazing love letter from Bioware to include this DLC. I know tomorrow we will be in the fight again with the Reapers and more serious tones, but today was, it was amazing. And I really, really enjoyed it a lot. So I should probably go now. <laughs> Bye everyone.